Well, our main objective here is to bring these guys in and uh, put them in as close to real life situations as we can. The difference in climbing between daylight climbing to nighttime climbing, uh, the situations that they, that they get into as far as down power lines, broke poles, it's just great for them to be able to have this opportunity to do that. Mother Nature sometimes can be uh, pretty harsh on uh, the utility company and, and if you have storm after storm and you go in and you take a wood pole and set it first, come back three months later another storm comes in, you've got to go back and replace that, that wood pole because of Mother Nature. Uh, you set the steel pole uh, when you have the opportunity to do that and you take that outcome out of it. With steel poles, you probably don't have as much damage when, the, when you have wires tore down. A lot of times when we have uh, trees fall on conductors, they'll break, break the wood poles. Um, steel prevents that from happening, so you have less damage and that makes service restoration faster. They come pre-drilled, and uh, which that uh, cuts down on time as preparation. Uh, you can just bring them straight from the pole yard and start working with them. You can put your framing on the ground, set the pole, and typically a steel pole doesn't come down as easy as a wood pole does. It can get crushed and still stay erect. A wood pole tends to break. Steel poles are lighter weight, so if you got if you can't get specialized equipment in these bad remote areas, uh, the poles are lighter, so it does make it it would make it easier to set the steel poles versus the wood pole. The value the students are getting from the steel pole class that they set in is majority of the poles out there today are wood, but more and more steel is being used. And not every lineman or apprentice lineman, that fact, has had the opportunity to work with steel. So they have definitely have an advantage to learn how a steel pole works. Mm -hmm.